All right, I've got to warm up a little bit here. I'll be uh, playing a variety of music tonight, so just bear with me. I guess it's been about two and a half years since I was here, wasn't it? Exactly. Back to me now. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to start off with a uh, guitar tune called The Fisherman, dedicated to any fisherman in the house. And uh, feel free to just keep carrying on, you know, I'm playing any any of my guitar tunes. I don't mind people talking because I'm, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing anyway. After that, I'll, uh, I'll sing a song, semi-biographical uh, song, explaining why I'm here. Then I think I'll do some love songs. But then later on, we'll, uh, we'll find some things to sing together. So here's one for all you fishermen. I might be in your town. Yes, 
Yes, I know. 
to uh, sing a traditional American ballad now. Came over on uh, one of those ships that uh, came over from here somewhere. I don't know which one. But they didn't register the ballads, I guess. Well, there are about five million people whose families came over on the Mayflower. <laughs> I think it was just after I played here uh, two and a half years ago. I don't know if, if you heard this story already, stop me. Uh, I was invited uh, to perform in a school district in southern Indiana, which is where I grew up. And uh, they contacted me and they asked me if I did a children's program. And I said, I sure do. I sure do. <laughs> you play music, you just say yes. And you, uh, then you work it out later. So uh, I knew they explained the program to me. It's just going to be uh, very short concerts, and I, I would stay in one place in the gymnasium, and they'd bring groups of kids in, and uh, and then I would play for about 15 minutes, or until there was a riot. <laughs> However long the attention span was. <laughs> so, uh, I thought, huh, I folk, I want to hear folk music. I know any folk songs. I started thinking of, for children, oh gosh. Uh, Polly Wall I Doodle. I can do that. <laughs> so that was one. I thought, well, I can do about 30 verses of that. <laughs> so what, what do I want to pick for the other one? <laughs> This song, which I just uh, learned from somebody down in North Carolina, and I thought it would be a good example of a story told in a song. And uh, I thought I'd better explain myself a little bit to them. And I said, uh, "You know what cartoons are like. You know what uh, pretend. You know what pretend is. And play pretend things." And, uh, said, Does anybody know what science fiction is? And uh, a lot of them said they did. So I thought, well. That's what this song is. There's not a word of truth in it. So uh, don't believe a word of this song. And whatever this girl does to her sister, never even think. <laughs> <laughs> and then what the fiddle player does later, don't, that never really happened. <coughs> so they, they said, okay. And, uh, so uh, anyway, I've never been invited back. <laughs> And the kids liked it, liked this song, and the teachers were appalled. Nice way to say it. But it's, uh, like I said, a version of, a, of an old song from uh, some other country, but in North Carolina it's called The Wind and Rain. Oh, The Wind and Rain. I'll invite you to sing along, too. I know some of you will, would like to. I only ask that you sing the same song. <laughs> and if you want me to, you know, if you don't understand anything, I can spell it out. I can spell it like I had to ask you where, where you live today. <laughs>
Six years ago, I, was, I had the honor of uh, opening a concert for a singer from Canada named Stan Rogers. And uh, as it turned out, he only did one concert after that, and then, then he died uh, in an airline fire. But uh, I really loved his music, especially after. Uh, seeing him in concert. He was an imposing man and uh, he uh, impressed me a lot more than Pavarotti ever did. Example, uh, he was even bigger than that guy. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> but uh, finally, uh, after uh, Getting over actually hearing Stan Rogers live about four years later, I, I thought I would dare to learn one of his songs. So I've learned a couple actually by now. And, uh, this one is uh, a song about farming. A couple of years ago, I was at, I appeared at a festival with this group called the Yetis. They couldn't understand uh, uh, this song. Uh, they, they had just come off the stage after doing a whole set of uh, funny songs about farmers. I did this one which gets serious and some of the time. And, uh, they just <laughs> they didn't know what to say. But anyway, I wonder what ever happened to them. Are they still going around? Yeti? Does anybody care? <laughs> that tape a little. You know. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> uh, okay, this uh, back to the song. I will sing it. <laughs> uh, my cousin in Indiana still has a farm and he is still a farmer. Uh, at one time that's all my family did. Uh, I think he might be the last one, the only one I can think of. But, uh, 
course he has a pickup truck. And on the back of the truck uh, are some bumper stickers and he got one from the, uh, the farmer's co-op that says, if you eat, you're involved in agriculture. <laughs> so uh, I always dedicate this to any agriculturist who, who may have shown up tonight. And, uh, the song is called The Field Behind the Plow. And I'll play a, uh, a short tune for an introduction. This is uh, an Irish tune. It's called South Wind. By the way, it has words if you want to sing. I don't, I don't sing this. But, uh, <coughs> good luck trying to follow me. <laughs> I will follow this thing the guitar. <laughs>
the good times come and go. But at least there's a ring. This won't be barren ground. The September rolls around. Watch the field behind the plow. Turn the straight down the rows. What an hour the seasons promise. He uh, moved up north a couple of years ago because his wife is an English professor. She got a job at a college in Ohio, which is right next to Indiana, where I came from. And uh, I, was, I was wondering about them one day, so I thought I had their new number in Ohio, so I gave them a call. And, uh, I wanted to inquire, actually, about their, their little uh, baby. They had a baby in... Uh, they gave it an old family name, which is Ray Vaughn. <laughs> really is. Here's, if you ever see this tape, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ray Vaughn. Anyway. So I said, so how's Meg and uh, how's, how's little Ray Vaughn? <laughs> Pierce said, oh, John. I don't know what I'm gonna do. They're they're trying to make Rayvon into a yank. <laughs> <laughs> so they moved to Georgia last year. <laughs> but Pierce put together this next song, and uh, I've been singing it oh, well over here for three or four years. In fact. Uh, Somebody nicked it from me and recorded it before I could. But uh, it's on my new tape. Uh, it's on sale tonight, and it's the only authorized uh, version of this song on any tape or record other than uh, Pierce's own. And uh, what he did was get some words from the Bible from uh, one of the books of Corinthians. <coughs> and uh, he wrote this song. It's called St. Paul's Song. If I spoke in tongues of men, spoke in tongues of angels. If I could not speak with love, I'd just be symbols claim. And everyone would hold their ears and wouldn't know how to take it. Not a soul would want to hear a racket so out of The fate of men, nations. If I knew them, the 
mysteries and secrets of creation. And had I all the faith I need, not for a mountain moving. Without love to carry me, what good would it do?
the organizer there came up and he said, oh, by the way, John, we have, we have three halves here. <laughs> Stevens Cotton Mills in North Carolina, where uh, where they uh, undoubtedly make most of the cotton for most of the uh, undershorts in the states. I imagine it's a, it's a huge company. And uh, anyway, they have a union now. And this song is about a fellow who has. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this introduction is usually so dreary. <laughs> and it's, are there any cotton mill workers here? <laughs> but anyway, I don't know the real name of the disease. It's called brown lungs when you get fibers in your lungs and, and then you die. And uh, it's not a happy song, but if we all sing it, it, it at least feels good to sing it. It's called Go to Work on Monday. Which might be an ironic thing to sing tonight, but... I'm going to start a movement for bank holidays in the States. <laughs> I did my part in World War II, got wounded for the nation. Now my lungs are all shot down, there ain't no compensation. Gonna go to work on Monday one more time. Gonna go to work on Monday one more time, one more time. Gonna go to work on Monday one more time. The doctor says I smoke too much, she says that I'm not tried. He says she don't know what I got, but we both know he's lying. I'm gonna go to work on Monday one more time. I'm gonna go. Thank you. 
tunes that were named after food. I don't know. Right, he got onto something there. He had a mega hit called Green Onions. <laughs>
my uh, my first album. And it was, the title of it was uh, called Western Island. It was after an Archie Fisher song. And, uh, then, oh, I guess it was about the time that I was last here a couple of years ago. I was invited by uh, Archie and Danny Kyle to be on their their program, Traveling Folk. Did anybody hear that? Yes. On this show? <laughs> Terrible, wasn't it? That's good. You probably get flown, doesn't it? Flown or a clown? Probably all she doing that. Well, she said other people said that because when you, when you sang out to someone, you sang like that too. When you sang that girlfriend song, you sang like that girlfriend song. That's kind That's of nice. You, you just sang like you sang. <laughs> 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 Do you remember that? Look at the tape, you see it. Turn the camera over here. You're <laughs> <laughs> safely out of sight. <laughs> no, you asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? That's right. And uh, I got there at a BBC. Uh, Scotland pretty early in the afternoon and uh, so I got to spend a little time with Danny and Archie and uh, I'd never met Archie before I had written to him and uh, I really wondered what, how he was going to feel about me and we were uh, having lunch and uh, I asked him how he, so what did you think of Western Island now? And uh, he was very kind. You know, was, I won't say what, what he said. It was very, very nice comments. But I began to relax a little bit because I'd been a little worried about it. And, uh, so then we went in to uh, take the interview. Uh, and this is going right on the radio now. And I thought, oh, this is great. Uh, here I am on the radio with one of my heroes. And, uh, and I'm not nervous. So right away he says, so John, uh, What's a lad from Indiana like you doing singing Scottish songs? <laughs> I honestly just told them that they were the best songs I could find at the time. And when I did that record, I just did my favorite songs, and that, that was it. And I guess he accepted that. And uh, I haven't seen him since then, but I said, when I, when I see you again, I'll, I'll uh, sing some songs from Indiana. For you. That'll make you happy. And, uh, so this one is dedicated to Archie Fisher. This one that he wrote. It's called Western Island. By the way, you'll notice <laughs> this sounds a lot like a song called Hit the Road Jack. <laughs> Star 
first to taste the sea, a woman to keep him free. Oh, I came to a western island as far as a man can walk is my land. I cleared ten acres and house I built into the side of the hill. Over the Rockies, 
Them cattle on the Texas plains Citrus up and down the California line Heavy timber in the Oregon rain Now the snow's coming off of Lake Erie Just as well 
It's summer meant to go, summer meant to stay behind. It's always that way. Yours is the open road. A bitter sun, a heavy load that I'll never share. Though they offer
told my friend Anna back home I would uh, think about her from time to time and uh, sing a song for her. And uh, in case she sees this tape, this is for you. <laughs> Song by a, uh, a fellow from California named John Stewart, who used to have a band called the Kingston Trio. You might remember them. Yes. Yeah. Well, he's gone on to better things. <coughs> Anybody here with a birthday in July? Okay, this is for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's called July, You're a Woman. <laughs>
and yes, I will. If I ever get this tape, I will be uh, studying that film. <laughs> and, uh, I could never forget you and <coughs> that, that voice. At night in the caravan. That was something else. <laughs> family used to stay in a caravan for a while and go in their house. They took me out there one time. It was it more than once? I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about damning with Fred Paid Praise. Well, actually, a few minutes ago, I got this signal. <laughs> very kind to not go like that. You know, that's, so anyway, this is, uh, I'll finish with this song. It was written by my, uh, my favorite American ballad writer, a fellow named Steve Earle. Since I'm making so many dedications tonight, I'll dedicate this one to my kids. You couldn't be here in school night. <laughs> Maybe they'll tag along next year. Those tears. 
tears away or guide a weary worm into the light of day. Nothing but a child can help erase those minds. So once again, we all can be children.